Hello, hello, my beautiful friends. Welcome back to my channel. It's Marta here. How are you? I hope you are good. Thank you for stopping by. Thank you for coming and for sharing this really nice and special experience with me, with other crafters. So what do we have here today? As you can tell, I have some absolutely gorgeous, stunning scrapbook paper. And this one is from Heidi Swap. I really love it. I loved it from the moment I saw it. And I just had to have it, like I really did. Then I have kind of, you know, my own rice paper, but it does correspondence in the color scheme because I'm thinking a little bit of black and white today. We shall see how it's gonna be because I prepared the colors as well, so we, we will see. I have this absolutely gorgeous stamp that I'm in total love with uh, because it's wooden, because it's text, because it's mixed media, because it is just super. I love it and it's, uh, I think it's in French, am I right? It's definitely not in English. Yes, it's in French. Uh, it's a French stamp, which I like it. I Look, I don't have to know what's written here. I hope nothing bad. Uh, what else I have here? This really strangely looking paperish, envelopeish, something, something. For a texture, I don't know. We shall see. Maybe we'll use that. I also have some Tim Holtz Rubens. Are they Rubens? Yes, they are. And they're gold. So, you know, black and white and gold could be actually quite nice. And then I found it recently when I was tidy up a little bit. I found these quite old sticker pages, stickers. I've used few, not, not too many. And you know what? Since our hopeful journal, it's about quotes, words, inspirations, uplifting message to the world. I was thinking that it would be so lovely to use maybe some of that since this is very striking, like this one, for example, or this one. I love it. I, well, for the page, I felt. But as, as I say, maybe we will use some color. Who knows? But uh, definitely uh, I will have them next to me. I also prepared, just in case, some beautiful oil pastels here. I have also these uh, oil pastels and I have pan pastels. Hmm, lots of colors, but I have no clue whether we're gonna use it, whether we're gonna need it or not. We shall see. I have some sort of vision, as always, a little bit, but kind of, you know, you know me, like with me, things are never so very much uh, sure, so we shall see. And I had this feeling of kind of building it somewhere here having maybe that butterfly there i don't know i just i just feel for some abstract with not so much abstract a mixture a mixture this is what we're gonna use today uh, i'm gonna just use some washi in bit in the middle of this page so we have our actual uh, washes here as our lovely background and then i'm gonna grab a little bit of gesso a little bit of gesso and i'm thinking to just jumping over with it in the places here and there here and there in a few just just to see what's going on just to kind of break it a little bit I really wish for a little bit of abstract although uh, the elements that I have grabbed here they're not really abstract isn't it but you know abstract still I think it can be more um, in my eyes more like a free sort of art journaling like Mm, trying to really, hmm, how can I say, Try, trying to really not make it, I'm, I think I'm going to cover that rose, I hope you don't mind, trying to really um, make this different to what I am used to it, that's kind of what I'm thinking, so, um, and maybe um, normally I would do it a certain way, I'm going to try to run, it, run away from it today, so I have a little bit of white, which is nice, I'm going to maybe add a little bit more here, so it's going to be even whiter, even kind of, maybe here is where the gesso, uh, where the transparent, no, not transparent, <laughs> maybe here is where the actual uh, rice paper will go. Maybe, maybe, maybe that's a good idea. And maybe here as well, a little bit, I don't know. But let's make this one. I'm using actually uh, Dina Weekly White Just so I'm testing it out um, because I was thinking it would be nice to swap and change and try different mediums, find my best one maybe, find my love, <laughs> I don't know. But that's what I was thinking. So here is my prepared background, looking forever gorgeous already. Look at that. I really love it, love it, love it. I really like this, so 
I just wonder how I am gonna use and what and where and all and I think I'm gonna just jump in here maybe no uh, I definitely wish to use all of it no that would be too much isn't it I don't know I think it would be too much I think I'm gonna just grab this one like that we shall see and I think I'm going to grab a little bit of this one here. I love rice paper for its breaking and that you can just rip it apart and it's so amazing. I love that. So yes, I think something like that. Kind of delicate, kind of like a subtle addition to the background, something like this. I wonder if how is your uh, vision, how is your, because I have different lamps today, first time using new lamps, I have a different way of holding the camera and I really hope that we are going into some sort of better view experience for you guys. Really I'm kind of, I like, <laughs> I don't mind it. I don't watch my own videos, would you believe it? So I don't mind it, but I'm sure that uh, your experience is very much important to me. So I really wish to make sure that your eyes are not, uh, you know, that you're not feeling dizzy watching my videos. So I hope that we are going into a very good direction with that. So I think this is lovely to begin with. I really feel that. And I'm going to actually add these as well, the leftovers, just somewhere around. And I'm using, I'm going to try and test out if uh, this transparent clear gesso from Winson and Newton will work in brand new, never used it before. I wonder if it's transparent, I wonder if it's gonna glue down a little bit as well, if it's gonna work like a glue. No, it's not gonna work like a glue. I, I can see that. No way! Uh, the previous transparent just I had, but it was finished, was working like a glue. Interesting enough, isn't it? No. This one is finished, so we need to grab a different glue. Now, there we go. So I see that it very much depends from the brand. I'm gonna try to find it. I I was using 13 Arts, but it's not available really anywhere except from Poland and with the custom charges and everything else. I know you've been complaining, so I'm trying to find um, I'm trying to find the the really good gesso that it's available worldwide and that it's good price as well. So I'm the lookout for <laughs> mediums like that. Uh, that are new to me, you know, what I have never experienced. I would like that. So that's my kind of, for New Year, test. Okay, so we have a little bit of that happening here. And now I'm going to grab the gesso and hopefully this will give a little bit of a tooth to it and bring it down. Sorry about that. Bring this down. It looks gorgeous. I love, love, love it so far. So far, so good. <clears throat> this is a different gesso that I'm used to it because it has the tooth. It's not smooth. It has the extra tooth to it, which I like. I actually don't mind it. But some people may find it annoying, I think, that it's not very... Uh, um, that it's not very uh, delicate, maybe, that it has this kind of tooth of... How can I say, like a scrubbery, like a scrub kind of thing. But it's just a feeling, not necessarily to everyone, but I have this feeling that it's there. But I, I think you have to work and get used to the product as well before having an opinion, I guess. Mm, because once you are so long using something, you're so used to it and all that, you know, you kind of forget maybe things. So. That's kind of what I'm thinking, to try to improve, change, experiment, find out of things. I like that. So I think, as I think I've said it to you a few times already that change is my word for this year. I really wish for changes, for uh, good things to happen, to really enjoy life in all sorts of way and get out from that ways that we are used to it so very much. I'm going to grab the transparent gesso, go over everywhere else that gesso didn't go at all. I like that gesso, I have to say. It has a very nice feeling. Um, it, I have been using transparent gesso from Liquidex, the very old one. It has the tooth as well, 
but um, I wasn't keen and fan of it, to be honest. Uh, it wasn't, oh, my lamp, wasn't that smooth as this one is smooth in the working. It's very liquidish, I like that. It's very transparent because it felt with the liquid X it wasn't as transparent. <laughs> I, I have been moving my lamp, Luca, so I think the lamp just kind of <laughs> the lamp was like this and it was like vroom. maybe you saw that in the camera actually um so yes i will dry this and i'd be i i'd be <laughs> i'd be right back to you <laughs> everything is dry and i have those elements here and i'm thinking and thinking and thinking and also i kind of wish for this book to maybe for this journal to you know for those pages to use things that are in my stash for so long as well and or co incorporate things that n maybe not necessarily go together you know so like this thing why not to have it i really wish my pages to be each different each inspirational in its own way and yeah kind of this this is the way i feel uh, about it. So if you don't have this element you can use easily, obviously. You can use any die cut you have. But look how absolutely gorgeous and pretty that could be. Now I also think that... I, I don't know, I just feel like ripping this. Whoops! You know? Uh, whether it's a good idea, I, I'll find out in a minute. <laughs> Possibly not so good. Ah. Now, there we go. If you're wondering, it's a, it's a Heidi Swap storyline chapter notebook. Hey chapter storyline notebook that's the name of the of the paper of the collection oh I like that and I will use that maybe the small butterfly this time I will try to link as much as I can whatever I can find for you if I can find and what else I can tell you what I have been using oh Winston and Newton and I'm using brushes from Ranger if you're wondering they have been in my favorites of 2020 because I do love them actually, truly. Okay, hmm. Now, let's see what's the plan. Like, I've no plan, and I don't, I, and I, I'm more into like, let's collage it all, or let's just, let's try it and experiment. Maybe it's not so good, maybe I will fussy cut that at the end because it's just not in my liking. I don't know, but I just wish to have a see. Maybe, maybe being out of my comfort zone at the end it's gonna happen that no, Marta, <laughs> it's not at all in your liking. Just get used to it, just do it your way. So maybe, because for now I kind of put it on and I'm thinking, nah, <laughs> I don't know where is this going, how and what, but it's not in my liking now, and I can easily put it away, do it differently, fussy cut that. But how about trying to make it in my liking? So how about trying to incorporate these actual images, imagery here, somehow? I don't know yet how, I don't know, but somehow. Imagine. Oh! I love that. Maybe. I'm trying to think as well of where we're gonna have some sayings, which can always be changed, but <clears throat> we shall see. And Ruben. So, what I'm thinking is to actually grab, to glue it down as it is. Lovely, jovely. It has a tooth. Everything has this sort of tooth to it. It's like a. Like um, like um, this filing, it's a filing surface. Very strange. Why is that? I don't know. Uh, okay. Maybe the paint holds better. We shall see. Um, so I'm thinking to maybe have this one like this. 
like this here. How about... No. No. Hmm. It's just not happening together, isn't it? Wait, wait, wait. <laughs> Do I know what I'm doing? Not at all. Not at all. That's okay. I'm collaging. I'm trying to collage it and enjoy a collage way of... It has to go there. Like, for some strange reason, this butterfly has to go... Let's just glue it down. If it's gonna be, like, crap, that's, that's it. Like, it's gonna be. And that's fine. Let's not over worry for now anyway. Let's try and let's glue it down and let's incorporate this into our page somehow. Okay? Let's do this. So I'm gonna grab some more of white gesso and I'm gonna try to I'm gonna try to kind of have a little bit of a play. Well, maybe maybe gel medium would be more sense. Would have more sense than this. But no, it's okay. It's working. So let's see. I'm gonna grab my grab my finger <laughs> a little bit more here. It's not gluing down. What's going on? Maybe that's because I'm gonna use gel medium. I have gel medium here. This one is from Little Birdie. I'm gonna. Maybe it's the, the gesso thing. Very strange. Very strange. Oh, this is. This is holding. This is not so. Not so much. Okay. This is also very strange, I have to say. Now, working with different mediums that I've done before so far. Maybe that's why. So let's grab a little bit of that white gesso here and let's try to have a little play of white and trying to um, try to get rid of those lines to begin with. Let's try to have this barrier and this... trying to disappear it. Let's see if it's possible. Mm -hmm. Oopsie. Okay. Mm, starting looking not too bad, isn't it? So maybe that's the thing. Let's just oh, stop worrying at, in advance and let's just do it. And see what's going on. Mm-hmm. I think I'm gonna jump in for some color at some point. I'd say so. Because maybe it's a little too dull that page. I wonder how many of you is actually keeping up and creating pages daily. Obviously you can swap a page, you can skip, you can you can do whatever feels good for you. None of that is obligatory. Everything is more like have fun and take your own way and um, so yes whatever is seems to feels good for you uh, you should do this way so it, this is just a guidelines for for those who need it sometimes it's good to just have a guidelines and do things with someone not just on your own uh, I feel that even though I'm doing it now on my own <laughs> that's okay <laughs> I know that you'll be watching and I'll be watching with you afterwards and that's all nice and I don't mind that now now okay so what's next we should dry this I think a little bit and have a look what's going on so let's dry that I love it it looks good it looks really good Everything is dry and I have those oil pastels and I have this color that I think could be nice. Then I have this color. Then I have this color. So we're kind of going in grace. Ooh, what a surprise, right? Um, let's try that. Yeah, let's try that. At least let's have a look at the actual 
colors. Let's see. Oh, lovely, jubbly. Oh, very nice, even darker. So this should go here. And then we have the black one. How is that? I think it's going to be phenomenal. So we have this one, this one, this one, and this one. Okay. So let's see. Let's see. Let's try. Let's try. Why not? So what I will do is I'm going to grab a little bit of that delicate. Oh. What happened here? Everything is kind of smudged. Not smudged, splashed. Now my question is, what's going to happen if I'm going to grab a little bit of water? Well, this would be to have this clean to begin with. My little thing. And I'm going to be probably grabbing... There we go. I think recently someone asked me about uh, adding, uh, playing with with the pastels, oil pastels. I, I'm not a fan of this medium. I'm not really um, a knowledgeable person about this medium, but I'm trying to be fearless a little bit more and really try to, you know, enjoy it and try to find out what's going on and what can I do and why not. So, so we'll do it together, guys. We trying to figure things out with this medium kind of together I have to say <laughs> kind of together because I'm not really like this was the color was inspired by the actual this is not as such black and white it is a lot of uh, it has a lot of this uh, sort of grayish muted feel to to it so let's see so I'm going safe. I'm going on sites. It's quite safe, I have to say, because I don't know what I'm going to do next. I don't know. And I I go safe to begin with, and we shall see. But I, I do like how the colors are um, together. I do like... Oops. Oh, well, that's okay. So... Now... I like that. Okay, so technically we should do a little bit of the actual darker color somewhere. Let's see here. How about doing like this? How about going with the water in here? Oh, look at that! <gasps> that is gorgeous. I'm gonna do the same thing here. Just. I love it. I'm just trying to play it around that butterfly. You know? Wow! That is gorgeous. So, instead of dipping my finger, how about, as you can see, going directly? Oh, I love this! I love that coloring. It's very, very nice. Very different sort of wow I love it wow wow <laughs> interesting very much there we go yes I love that super how about next color? How about this green? What's going on here? Let's see. I'm spraying just water in case I didn't say it. I'm just spraying water, nothing, nothing more. Wow. I love it. I love it. I love it so very much what I see. Now I'm looking at the other colors that I have here. Or maybe, maybe we add splash of some color. Let me see. How about a splash of this, like, oh yes, this can be really gorgeous, so, and it's so very much, um, matching, I don't know, I think it's, ma it matches, look, I'm, I'm in into, in into, using my intuition where to actually 
place the color. Like it's quite random-ish. Quite random-ish. And that's okay, you know. Wow. I love this. I love this. Hmm. Wow. That's very nice. In interesting as well. All the mixture of colors and the white underneath it as well. Oh. What do you think? What do you think? Let's have the black one. Hmm. Let's just go with I don't know. No clue here at all. But just feeling that we have to move a little bit of a color and something to happen. I used just a baby wipe just to soften it uh, down and see what's going on. So it's not as drastic black, maybe. Although it's nothing wrong with black. You know, it's nothing wrong with the black. Touch of black, why not? Wow, I love it so much. I think I'm gonna outline my butterfly because I th and all of I, I'm gonna outline everything. I think it kind of disappeared in a good way because it's okay. It it disappeared, but that's okay. We can still work around it. We can still try to do it nicely and all. We just. I love it. I really love it. I'm gonna dry this now. Let's do a little bit of stamping. Let's try it out. I have used this stamp on my actually mailing uh, post. Uh, post. Uh, some of you, if you made an order in January, you probably got your um, envelope stamped with this actually stamp. <laughs> very passable. Oh, I love it. It's so very delicate. I like that. I love that actually. Now we have a million of text stamps but I just fell in love with this one for some reason. Don't know why, don't, <laughs> don't know why. I just did. I just did and I said I'm gonna have it. And I love the block stamps in general far more. They're way more expensive in general but I just love them. Oh, so difficult to stamp in such a mixed media piece, but so beautiful because it's so <laughs> so difficult to stamp that you really get strange impressions all over. It's it's the beauty of it. I find it beautiful, especially with the block stamp uh, like this. I love it, love it, love it. Um, how about a little bit of outlining? Now I do have some. I think these are star marabou and star. We shall see. Uh, which one is gonna go through all of these? But I think, oh, I I think we have to do a little bit of outline. I think this butterfly, as much as it's absolutely gorgeous, gorgeous, I think it needs to be outlined. It's too too delicate for the page. And again, it's my preference. By all means, everyone has a different preference, so whatever feels good for you. And it's okay to... Uh, I've seen people outlining my paper papers, uh, my designs, I love that. And it, if it works for you better, that's absolutely fine. You can always color your own color on the actual elements, on even if something is designed a different way, that's fine. You can do whatever you love. And I think it's beautiful that you can actually uh, alter it into your own liking, however it feels good for you, so... Okay, what do you think? I think it just stands out better and I think so, I think it's just nice, so... Let's do it, let's do a little bit here and there. Look, I'm not very into pro sorts of uh, drawing here. I'm gonna also kind of um, pretend of the flower Con, uh, like a flower sort of uh, continuation here, why not? Why not? And also I'm gonna outline here just a little bit. It's not gonna be anything near the original, but that's okay. That's just f 
for that's art guys that's like every page treated as an experiment of how it's gonna be maybe next time you're gonna do better job maybe next time you're gonna combine with another idea maybe next you will learn something from each each experiment each design and I'm trying to really be pro and uh, I'm gonna I'm trying to come up with those exercises and those ideas that you can actually test it out yourself and see oh I love that idea oh I love that oh I like that oh oh I'm gonna try this oh wow uh, so I think that's the beauty of art and it's okay to copy someone style someone's idea at some point follow it to learn from it to get get a great gain some confidence so yeah absolutely go for it guys just just do however it feels good for you I'm gonna also probably go a little bit here and um, just trying to go maybe a little bit around the actual elements Although I was trying to get rid of those lines, but you can also emphase. Is it emphase a good word? I'm surprised that this star. No, this one is Marabou color graphics. Wow, that it's actually working over the kind of lots of. Uh, obviously, it's uh, run down with water and gesso, but it does go over with. Maybe that's the tooth of the gesso helps. I don't know. Something is happening very well here. And actually, I have to say that indeed, this gesso, like everything feels very textury. It's like this uh, sanding paper feeling. I, it's like very strange to me, I have to say. It's not that I don't like it. I'm very much not used to it. So very strange, to be honest. I'm very lightly pressing my fine liner, very gently, very delicate, really. I think I've done similar thing to this page, isn't it? <laughs> so, yeah, with the white, you kind of, you can't, it's kind of hard to escape from your own feelings, however it feels good for you when you art. So some things you can experiment, but some things are gonna be always the same, or uh, they will change with time, but they, you, you kind of come back to things you love the most, you know, the best and it's okay to look for them look for things that you enjoy the most so I chat so much that I feel that I <laughs> need a sip of water and I have none here I'm gonna grab it in some second so there we go I love it guys I really do love it I think it's beautiful I'm gonna grab white as well this one it's gonna be from Arteza actually uh, and I'm gonna just go with a little bit of white in places. I hope you can see that. Maybe I'm gonna bring camera a little bit closer. I think they're whispering there because they're playing Uno game, I think. Um, I think my... I, I have a feeling that my lamps are actually too bright for my liking, but maybe I'm wrong. I don't know. I just feel that it's very bright. I wonder if it's too bright for you. Let me just see if I can dim this down a little bit. Maybe that's better. So let's try to do a little bit of white outlining. Just a little bit. I love that very much. <clears throat> so this is it, my friends. Another page, another day. <laughs> I wish to say another day in paradise. <laughs> Yes, I was really hoping for making some really cool idea projects for you and I hope this is fulfilling your desire for having an online class like a weekend of retreat free of charge. The best way, isn't it? So <laughs> I hope you like that. Um, your comments are super important and thank you for them. Uh, by the time I'm recording this, none of, none of the pages is published so I don't know that you're commenting or not but well. I can guess you always do. So thank you very much in advance for that. And yes, I'm going to come up with hashtags. So check the hashtags uh, in the actual uh, description box. I'm going to have hashtags. I think Hopeful Journal is going to be the one for sure. That is going to be so very much perfect for that uh, that project. And we can... I, I think I don't like this part. I think I wish to have this uh, white. Um, I don't know if you can feel what I feel, but I don't feel that I want this to be. There we go. I don't. I I wish this part to be very much without those lines. <laughs> I don't know if that makes sense. Here as well. I think 
I really wish to just have this there we go just like free there we go so we have like lines going here lines here but this particular part let's just have it free I don't know if you if you feel you probably don't, <laughs> don't. I just felt that composition wise this was a little bit too too much happening and there was no breathe space everywhere where the lines like in the actual like in the spider web so I just had to kind of loosen this up and yeah uh, for example the doodling with the white and black pen I've seen it in one artist I can't remember it was few good few years back now but I remember and I grabbed so with the inspiration you grab things from some people like and I know that I grabbed these lines going across the page from that particular artist if I ever remember her name her because it was a, a girl I'll let you know um, but yes we kind of grab inspirations ideas from people and that's okay you know that's okay it's it's about grabbing inspiration here inspiration there and there and there and there and combining it to your own that's kind of the beauty of it you know to to make your own and to come up with your own individual style that others will recognize and yourself too not an easy task not at all but with time certainly possible certainly possible so that's it no no of course not first of all we need uh, I didn't date did I date any of these I think I didn't date any of these I can't believe it uh, but I'm gonna date it today so you'll know when I was recording this at least um, I think today is the 5th fifth, 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 fifth of January so I'm gonna date this one like that I'd say you may be watching that in February. I was hoping for January, but it just didn't happen. It just didn't happen time-wise. Um, but, you know, it's never too late. It's never too late. I, I also was thinking, look, I'm a little bit tempted by these pan pastels. And I was thinking to maybe grab some color. <gasps> oh, something, something. Or maybe this yellow. And go with that yellow in a few places just a little bit oh, I like that actually just a little bit why not I think that yellow is just prettier <laughs> than the other one okay I like that just a little bit I definitely feel like for splashes maybe black one and we need a title maybe title and the, the quote for today the inspirational words for today for others for us for you for me but for everyone else as well I'm gonna go back I'm gonna make sure that it's still sharp and all and pretty and all <laughs> no it's not sharp the easiest is to just have some words oh I think now it's very much sharp no yes oh there we go okay that will do <laughs> that will do uh, let me just get the oh now I see better with my camera now I see better oh there we go black splashes or white splashes what you think let's see I'm gonna have both because why not because why not? So I'm gonna have the white first. White splashes first and then we're gonna move on to black. Uh-huh. I think they're playing Uno. I can hear cards, tapping cards or something like that. I could be wrong, but I think they whisper so they're playing cards. Uno game. Yes, we have lockdown for another three weeks, no school, off school. So Emily never went back to school after Christmas. So yeah, we're facing another, another three week home bound. So I will try to post this as soon as possible. So the more people is at home worldwide because it's that bad actually. I will. I do, I don't want to talk about it. I, if I mention it, I hope you know that I mention it for a good reason. Um, 
because it's enough for everyone to hear about it so I'm the last one that I want to talk about it but sometimes I mention it so I hope that's okay so um, so yes I'm gonna post this SAP so we all can have um, you know we can all just enjoy a little bit of a little bit of acting together I think and in case you're new here you don't know that I'm using gouaches these are gouaches from watercolors I have white splashes everywhere but kind of the black are gonna be like spaced in few play I don't know I, I think I'm gonna place them a little differently if it's gonna oh I like that possible yeah whoa well that was not necessary but okay unless I'm able to get rid of them look I am because it's still wet so I can there we go that's better okay now we need a little bit of sentence we need oh I've promised the rubons which I still think it's gonna be it would be sensational to use which I will use why not something a little different for this page oh this is gonna be so awesome I love it oh there's two there are two silver and gold how class never knew that let's dry this and I'll be right back I need this to be uh, I need this to be definitely dry before ruban sink on so we can ruban on ruban sink on together and um, I never told you but I do love rubons, I really do. <laughs> Rub ons. I think they are so much fun. Um, so, what I will do is, I'm gonna just go with these. I don't know how should I go about it. Should I just jump in with a lot of them here on the side? Or should I just cut it? Maybe I just cut it because I can sense it that this is kind of going to be not so easy so I'm gonna cut this and no it's not about perfection either so if it's not gonna be going where I like it that's okay so I'm gonna grab this one and go with this one here as it is I don't know if I'm doing it right even oops but I'm gonna try and see if that's the right way it is I think or not Hmm, it's not really sticking out. Why is that? Hmm, they should have stick for my, no, from my knowledge. But again, maybe it's because it's mixed media-ish. Not so perfect. Well, something is there, look. Maybe that, that's okay. That's not, oh, I don't like that noise. Oh, this worked. So maybe I just have to be even really more precise and better in that in that pen, that stick thing to have this really run down. Okay, it's not happening there. That's okay. Let's keep on trying this one here. It's fine. Look. It's nice. I like that. It's okay. Um, it's probably not the best material altogether because it's not proper surface like oh <laughs> that's definitely not um, maybe I'm doing something wrong is there instruction for silly people like me no there's no instruction because normal people know how to use it is it oh well I don't please forgive me Tim Holds, that I don't know how to use the products yeah don't share my video no please don't because yeah <laughs> no teaching here but I would say that I would imagine that's what it is this is like what we should do and nothing more so I don't understand why but I'm gonna chance it once more here it is maybe sticking it down properly there we go it's stuck now is it I hope it is. It's stuck. And let's try to going slowly everywhere. Maybe I didn't do it good in the first place. My surface is extremely not even. So that's not helping for sure. 
<laughs> Please don't tell Team Holtz I don't know how to do it. Please don't. <laughs> oh well. Oh, maybe there is some technique. If there is, please let me know. Well, the surface is not even the actual, um, whatever it's underneath it, it's like between gesso, between uh, rice paper, paper, uh, it's very bulky, it's also very much um, splashy, there is uh, blue crayons, like oil pastels, so yeah, probably that's the explanation, I would imagine and I would <laughs> hope. Anyway, an advice, more than welcome. Okay, let's try that. <gasps> no! Look at that, it worked! Yeah, you can share it with Tim Holtz now. <laughs> Yay, it worked! So you have to... Wow, that's amazing. So you have to really uh, glue it down so then you can... Um, wow. You ha I'm going to try it again because I love them. Uh, you have to glue it down and then you can just start working. But you have to glue it down first, right? So um, I'm going to go for this one here. So we're gluing it down, like gluing, like sticking. There we go. Into that surface. Ugh. Into that surface. Super. And... When it's glued down, like really, do not lift it or anything like what I've done before. You start rubbing it. Oh no, this is moving again very much. So this one is not going to happen, is it? Hmm. Probably not as good as the other one. Because this one moved. But let's not lose hopes. Maybe it's just not going to be that good. But maybe something is gonna hold on there uh, well okay not as pretty but maybe it's because it's so very much uneven yeah uh, well that no we're not sharing that with Tim <laughs> okay I actually love it because we have some gorgeous uh, numbers here and we have some gorgeous abstract there. So that's it. Honestly, a pure honestly, I don't mind it. I like it because it's so not perfect and I love it. It's a little bit there. There is perfection there, but in the kind of contrast, it's not like I like it. I don't mind it. Guys, chillax. Chillax. Take it in. What else? We have been thinking about this, but no. For the next page, for sure. Ah, the words. The words. Whatever is gonna match here. I have no idea if it's gonna be even matching because it's. Uh, this is kind of dreamy looking to me. Hmm. So the very dark as I have planned. Not so much. Live the dream. This could be nice. That's nice actually. Living the dream. Mm -hmm. But this is not sort of saying I wish to go to the world. Hmm, I'm gonna try this. Oh, I love it. Actually. I thought it's not gonna match, but I love it how striking that is. I don't mind it. Do what you love and love what you do. Love it. Okay, they don't stick that well. No, oh, I put it on the ruban sink. No way. Oh, well, that's okay. Let's just outline this like that. Just a little bit. Very much um, imperfect. Imperfect. Wow. I love this. I will have to use gel medium to this one, um, I think. Wow how strangely dark it is here but I think that's okay I think that's a statement I really love that and I think I'm gonna just have a little bit of gel medium here before I'm gonna say goodbye to you sadly 
till tomorrow because we are having videos for this session every day <laughs> so I hope I manage because I'm putting a pressure on pressures on but I hope I hope to still stick it in January I hope so I'll see I just need a day full day of uh, um, what's the word of editing putting on ahead so I'm able to be on time every day you know I don't want to say it and then not do it so but I, kn I still know that even if it would happen you would still forgive me even if I would be day late or something you would forgive me because you're the best YouTube family I ever had so well you're the best the one I actually know and that's not only <laughs> that's not only me saying this easy for me to say but others think that so when they do that's even awesome more awesome okay wow I love it but I think of course that this is sticking out a little bit too much from the crowd so we need to have a little bit of a little bit of where is the wadi wadi okay we need to have a little bit of black maybe uh, here there we go absolutely and then I could start with white first but oh well who would think Marta that's okay okay and we need to clean this for sure before sticking to white paint and we're gonna have a little bit of white happening you know normally I would say no this is too black it doesn't match da 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 but that's exactly why I'm gonna stick it there the statement so others can actually see it and really feel it and uh, yes <laughs> that this is gonna go to the world okay <gasps> That's it for today, but we are seeing each other tomorrow because we have how many more pages to finish? Let me see. We have only one. No way. In, that, in this actual um, one or two, because I may finish this one as well. So we have two more only pages to finish, two or three. Wow, that's interesting. Actually two, because I'm going to take this out and make those two together as one. Uh, wow that's interesting only two more and then I'm gonna decorate the cover with you and the other um, the other actual signatures I will do some other time maybe I'll do another sort of depending on how you're gonna like it if this sort of idea of few videos like a course um, like a marathon like a course of few videos that you're gonna like and enjoy it then we can think about it uh, to do this once more and again and again but anyway I'm going to wrap up with that, wishing you a beautiful day or night. Uh, please stay safe, mind yourself, your loved ones as well, as well. super, super important these days. Uh, heads up guys, everything will be fine. Every time after every storm, there's uh, there is always some sun coming out, so please believe in that. Walk in the sunny side of the road um, and smile, smile to others as well, even if you're wearing mask. You can still read it in people's eyes. That's what I do. <laughs> so thank you so very much for being here as always. Tag me on your pages. I would love to see them. Let's spread some kindness around. Uh, let's let's uplift others. Uh, that's what we can do best as crafters. So thank you so very much. I'm going to finish here. Thank you. Um, till the next time. I have to go. <laughs> Sadly, I love you, but I have to leave you. Till the next time. Happy crafting and I'll chat to you soon. Bye.